Today we're going to talk about how you can convert your PowerPoint slide which has different hyperlinks to different network drives or folders into an EXE application created by Adobe Animate CC. So this is my PowerPoint file that I'm going to use as a sample and if I go into presentation mode here you will see really these are some text with hyperlinks on them to different network drive or folders. If I click on any one of these, different folders come up on screen. I will simply hit escape and go back to PowerPoint and I will open Adobe Animate CC which will be used to create the EXE application. Now there is no direct way to convert your PowerPoint slide into the EXE application. If I go to Animate CC and open Air for Desktop because I'm going to create a desktop application and go to File import and import to stage you do not find any option for PowerPoint to be included even if I say all files and try and import this PowerPoint file this is going to give me an error message that he can't read this file so basically there is no direct way but there is a workaround and the workaround is if I go to file import and import to stage again you will see in the list of acceptable file or readable files you will have Adobe Illustrator and that is AI file which can be accepted by Adobe Animate so I'm going to hit cancel and I'll go back to PowerPoint now again there is no direct way to convert this PowerPoint file into AI so I'm going to convert this PowerPoint file into a PDF file using Acrobat so there is a tab called Acrobat on the extreme right and then you can go to create PDF and say save as PDF once your PDF is created you will see that it has all the hyperlinks with the text on it I will close this PDF file and I'll close this PowerPoint file as well and I'll go to my Creative Cloud desktop application and open Adobe Illustrator now we're going to use Adobe Illustrator to convert that PDF file into AI which can be read by Adobe Animate. So what this really does is it lets us import the same structure that we have in PowerPoint. So I'll go to file, open and I'll choose that PDF file that I've created and say open here. Once I have the file open I can go back to file, save as and I'll save this as an AI file instead of PDF and hit save and then I'll go with the default options and I'll press OK. Now I don't need this Illustrator so I'll close that. Now if I go to File, Import and Import to Stage in Adobe Animate I have this option to choose Adobe Illustrator and I can choose this Illustrator file that I've just created. You will see that it's going to represent all the different layers from Illustrator or AI file and I will also ensure that I'm going to select set stage size to same as Illustrator artboard here so that there is no size mismatch and in the end I will say import and this is going to import the exact structure of PowerPoint. Now you will see if you use type tool it does not let you edit or put any hyperlinks to them so in order to modify the file you would need to double click anywhere on the screen this opens up all the layers in timeline for you and there are some lock which represent that these layers are locked and cannot be edited or clicked on so I'll hit the lock key again to unlock the layers and then I will delete the first layer which is the empty layer and I'll delete the last layer which is the empty layer as well and I'll make sure that I click on this red rectangle which is hiding my content and then hit delete on my keyboard and now you will see that all of the content is visible and editable as well so I can change the network drive 1 to 2 or anything else that I want but that's not the point the point is that you can select all the text here and you can use the links panel in the properties tab here and you can paste the hyperlink so I will go back to my network drive 1 and I will copy the address and I'll go back to the links panel paste the address that I've copied and then I'll do the same thing for Network Drive 2 and I'll paste the address for Network Drive 2 here and once I've done that I can go to File, Publish Settings and I'll give it a name 
and I can turn off the audio because I don't need any audio in this application and I can say OK and then I'll go back to file, publish and then it will ask me for the password for the certificate that I've created already. If you haven't created one, you can click on create and fill up the details to create a certificate for yourself. Because I already have it, I'll type in the password. I will turn off the timestamp because I don't need that at the moment. And then I'll go back to general tab and I will ensure that I have application with runtime embedded selected. And I'll click on this folder to make sure that it's going to the right destination folder. And then in the end, I'll press OK. It gives me an error saying that timestamping will be disabled, which is all right at the moment. And then I'll say file, publish, and it starts publishing the application for me. Once you get the final prompt, you can say OK and go back to your destination folder. In this destination folder, you'll find the folder name ending .app. Once you open that, you'll find your .exe file sitting in there. You can simply double click and open the .exe file. I can minimize the rest of the applications to show you how does it look like. I can click on Network Drive 1 to open the first folder and then Network Drive 2 to open the second folder and so on. So this is how you can convert your PowerPoint file into an .exe application. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.